Fungal diseases are in certain types of groups. First of all, um, the World Health Organization lists fungal infections as the number one type of infection on the planet. The most common sort of infection altogether are skin infections. We call these dermatophyte diseases. Dandruff is a fungal infection, in fact, and almost all humans on the planet Earth have dandruff to some extent, and about a quarter of, pe of all people have got skin infections, so that's one group. There's a second group of inf uh, organisms which colonise and infect mucosal surfaces, and that includes organisms like Candida. And these are again extremely common. For example, it's estimated that round about 100 million women get four episodes of thrush every year, a really miserable sentence. And those which inhabit and grow on the mucosal surfaces can also, under certain circumstances, invade through the mucosa and enter the body and cause what we call deep-seated infections. A lot of the book is devoted to um, organisms which do those things with a special emphasis on those which really cause potentially lethal infections. Now, in that situation, the, the trouble is that fungal infections can be quite difficult to diagnose, which is one reason why the book has a whole section devoted to diagnosis. Late diagnosis, poor prognosis. And mortality rates for fungal infections are really staggeringly high, sometimes as much as 50, 60, 70 or 80 percent of people succumb to infection even when the doctor knows what that organism is and uses all available forms of therapy to try and treat them. So some of the worst ravages of fungal infection are extremely difficult to deal with.